Today I am going to make lead into gold. These lead sinkers from Walmart should work just fine. Many great scientists from Dalton to Newton attempted to transmutate lead into gold. The word chemistry itself comes from the word alchemy which was the study of metal transmutation. To be fair I'm smarter than all those guys and I began making lead into gold by cracking my beaker. To this I add some nitric acid and dilute with distilled water. I switched this to a new beaker and heat it to 90 C to dissolve the lead. Nitric acid will dissolve lead into lead to nitrate and toxic nitrogen dioxide gas is produced as a byproduct. Lead nitrate has low solubility and it formed these cool crystals when I let it cool. To an Erlenmeyer flask I next add 2 grams of potassium iodide followed by 400 milliliters of boiling water. To a 1000 milliliter beaker I add some of my lead nitrate solution and fill to 400 milliliters with more boiling water. Next I pour my two solutions together and the resulting solution turns bright yellow. This is then brought to a boil, which turns it completely clear. All I do now is take it off the heat and allow it to cool down. For a while nothing happens. Suddenly, after 30 minutes a few flecks of gold become visible in the solution. At first they are barely noticeable, but as time goes on more and more appear. When I come back after another 30 minutes my beaker is filled with gold flakes. Watching them rain down was surprisingly relaxing and beautiful. The longer I waited, the more appeared. The next step is to collect it all, and I start by mixing it all up to knock it to the bottom. Pass it all through a Buckner funnel with vacuum filtration, and my gold will all be collected in the filter paper. It's at this point that I need to let you know that this obviously isn't real gold. New elements can only be made by nuclear fusion or fission, and this compound is actually lead iodide. It happens to have the exact same color as gold, forms flakes, and reflects light similarly. Even though it isn't gold, I think it's just as beautiful. The appearance of these flakes from clear solution works because at high temps lead iodide is soluble, but as it cools down it begins to crash out of solution. This might have been a good scheme 1000 years ago, or gotten me tried as a sorcerer. In any case I hope you enjoyed this, and follow for 